Matishik. Uthron, Ulskull Boya Clea. Ugus Accordia. Ismisha Morteen de Butler. Ismisha on last Uthron de Vic Lane Ashon, the UCD. Tana Ahas Aram, Falcha Akirov. Isla Specialta Asha. UCD strives for excellence in everything it does. What we have built here at UCD in a very challenging times just shows you what a community of UCD staff and UCD students with a shared passion and a shared vi a vision, what we can do together. The student centre we are opening today marks a new departure in student life. I love being in the centre because of the buzz and life that exists here. From 6am through to 11pm, there is life and dynamism in the building. Although we find ourselves in difficult times, let this building be a symbol that this institution and indeed this country is always looking to the future. It's almost 158 years to the day almost since John Henry Newman opened the doors uh, of Newman House, what is now Newman House in Stevens Green, and admitted those first 17 students. And I wonder what he would have thought. I suspect he would have been remarkably impressed both by the quality of the facilities, but even more impressed by the quality of the student leadership. And if anything, this uh, fantastic facility is a symbol, uh, a representation of that ambition and leadership among our student body. Very privileged to be able to come here to UCD today to, uh, to open this 11,000 square, uh, square meter building. I think the, uh, the walkthrough that I've had here uh, makes you just realise what a really fabulous world-class uh, facility this is. Uh, and as, uh, as President of the Students' Union, Richard has pointed out, and Dr. Brady, uh, this is a combination of effort, principally through the students themselves, by their votes, by their, uh, by their wish to have all of these wonderful facilities provided here. The, uh, the 50 metre pool, the debating chamber, the performance theatre, 3D cinema, the dance floor, the spinning room, my God Almighty. And I think of the, the Hawthorne bushes where we talked out years ago. We really have moved a long way. Uh, I suppose the, the really striking thing here is that this was funded by the students themselves following their own referendum back in 2006. And I think that's the epitome of the belief that we have for our country in our young people wanting to participate and build an, uh, an Ireland and a society of which we can be truly proud. Um, Hugh, Hugh Brady mentioned John Henry Newman, and uh, I'm struck by the, by the uh, debating chamber. I wonder what he'd say if he came here. Uh, the Fitzgerald suite, or the Fitzgerald room, Fitzgerald chamber, uh, honouring a person who was synonymous with UCD over many years, who became Taoiseach of our country on two occasions. Not just somebody who was an intellectual, but somebody deeply committed to the university being at the heart of society and was in, in many ways a national treasure himself. Um, I'm struck also by the concept of the UCD uh, sports precinct and I wish uh, Director Brian Mullen the very best, the very best of luck Standard with this. And the range and the quality of the facilities that are here uh, for all of those who want to participate in whatever their sporting uh, pursuit might be. And I commend uh, Annalise Murphy and Arthur Lanigan O'Keefe and Helen Kearney and Kevin McLaughlin and the other athletes whom I met upstairs. I know the Irish Hockey Association are based here. Fabulous facilities for professional rugby of the Leinster team, which is an outstanding operation in itself. I just want to say to you, um, President Breslin, and to uh, President Brady, to everybody concerned, it genuinely is an honour for me to be able to come here as uh, head of government uh, to University College Dublin to participate and to formally declare open the, uh, the sports precinct, the chamber, the pool, and all of these facilities. And I genuinely thank those students who voted in their referendum to make a contribution over, over each of the years which has made this possible. And I'm quite sure that international governing bodies of other universities will, will see this place as a magnet of what is the very best on offer, and I'm sure it will have an impact upon student enrolment as well, that this is that place to be. And certainly you can now hold your heads up very high indeed.
because you compete at the highest level in terms of facilities for what is a wonderful university. Thank you very much indeed. <coughs> Pleasure to be here. God bless you. Thank you, Peter. Our final speaker today is Mr. Bernard Gallagher, the chairman of the UCD Governing Authority. Mr. Dermot Gallagher. This building resonates in a way, in many ways, with the message that you yourself have been conveying very successfully, both at home and internationally, and that is a message of optimism and positivity about the future. And this is what this building is about. And uh, I think all of us owe a huge tribute to the vision, the innovation, the determination, and the commitment to the students of Hugh Brady. It's a remarkable achievement. I would just end by saying today is, of course, a day for the students of this college. That con concludes our proceedings today. The T-shirt must leave us now, but I encourage you just to, uh, to wander around our, our guests here. The only unfortunate thing is that there's no more egg sandwiches on the menu today, but I think there is some, uh, there's some hot food appearing. And feel perfectly free just to wander around. We talk about the ambiance, the swimming pool, the debating chamber, the cinema. Please wander around. And thank you all for coming. And this starts a new chapter now in the life of University College Dublin. Thank you all for coming. Thank you.